Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Dr. Mundo in the jungle with Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Tenacity with Last Stand, with Magical Footwear, Approach Velocity, Attack Speed 80, and Armor. Mundo jungle is a decent pick as long as you have the better backline, since Mundo lacks a lot of mobility. If they have the strong backline, you can struggle super heavily. If you have MFR, I really do think we have the better backline, even though it's press the attack MF and not like Dark Harvest or Arcane Comet anything like that so i think our backline's better and i decided to go mundo so i could easily solo shivana and i could walk through vagar cage with my passive very easily as well i'm i'm shocked they're invading level one level one invade against a mundo is weird because we can just start cleaver and we took exhaust that way we could easily cheese people approach velocity will make us speed up into them we exhaust them exhaust is a lower cooldown than flash by a minute and a half Therefore, we can use it more often than they can use their flash. And by exhausting them, that's point and click. There's really no counterplay to that. We'll walk them down, then they'll have to use flash to escape. Your cleaver does more damage if the target is healthier. The healthier the target is. That is why we uh, queued the gromp there instead of the blue buff. Mundo farms pretty healthy. I think he's a much better jungler than he is a uh, top laner. I think as a uh, jungler, he can avoid those nasty range top lane matchups like a Vayne or Teemo. Let's get those out of the way. Sure, you might have to deal with Graves or Kindred, but as a jungler, it's easier to avoid them than it is in the top lane role since you're trapped in lane with them. Your E knocks small monsters back against champions. And minions, it needs to be a last hit. But against small monsters that knocks them, they did that to give him a quality life buff as a jungler. They spent all this time reworking him, and then they over nerfed him, and they're like, okay, let's give him this little uh this little thing. Which I do appreciate. It makes things slightly easier, especially on Raptor Camp, is when it's most important. Go ahead and smite this. Clear is actually pretty darn quick. Medium golems do not count as a small monster. You can smite medium golems. You cannot smite uh, little raptors or uh, little wolves. We finished pre-315, full HP, still have refill. Max cleaver first. I think we're gonna have to deal with Vigar here in a second. He warded. We'll try to come up behind him. Auto attack. E reset. Siobhan doesn't really have anywhere to go. Yeah, we landed a cleaver too. And landed it. And down she goes. That's why I took exhaust, by the way. I have my passive, so I should be able to survive Vigar. Yeah, I'll just solo him. I'll walk through the cage, auto attack, E reset, step on my passive. He's out of mana. Eh, we died. It is what it is. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> we'll go ahead and pick up Bomby Cinder. Pick up a control ward. It was so close. I didn't realize Vigar had Ignite. He also went for Electrocute. It's a little on the uh, greedy side for sure. If I would have realized that, definitely would have played it a little bit different there. Probably would have just walked away from him after he missed his Q. That's a shame. We'll give him payback in a team fight. Aatrox almost picks up the solo kill there. Siobhan is grabbing the wave. We'll grab bot scuttle for free. Auto attack E reset, get him out of there. Go ahead and leave a control word on my bot side jungle. That way I can play more top side and not really have to worry about losing camps. If you plan on playing heavy on one side versus the other, you want to try to Leave a control word there. It'll help your teammates not get ganked, and it'll also let you know when the enemy jungler's doing something sneaky. GP got soloed to rip. Hitchox is a scary champion to play against when he's ahead. I don't want to rush down Dragon right now. 
once we have sunfire i'll be looking to do big solo objectives but for now we'll take way too much damage it's also an ocean dragon which are really dangerous to try to take and sneak because they slow you if you try to escape you'll get wrecked i'll ping that out i'll go ahead and mute the okali i'm a little disappointed she didn't follow the vigar it took her so long she wasn't in range to really do anything with it Looks like Shivana might be on Dragon. I'll push into her top side. Pike's pinging for help. MF isn't reacting at all. The uh, Shivana definitely is on Dragon. I just saw it. I, I saw an animation go off there, yeah. She smites it. She's only level 5. The MF does not react whatsoever. She crashed the wave. Just doesn't move. She doesn't feel comfortable in that fight. I don't think she realized just how low Shivana was. Definitely did not realize. Vagar is 6. I can't take Harold to retaliate because Harold's not up. We hit level 6 pre-7 minute. That's actually really good. And Akali almost just got soloed. Oof, that was scary. I'll go ahead and R for this. Auto attack E reset Q. And we got him. We didn't even need Ghost. I'm going to let this wave continue to push to Akali. I could try to shove it down. It'd be hard. The uh, the Vagar has two more minions than Akali has. So it should push comfortably to Akali. She'll get an XP lead. And hopefully won't solo die to him or anything like that. That would be very sad. Bonk. For this game, Dragon Soul would be a nice win condition. After what I saw out of the MF, I don't know how much I trust her. It might be best for us to go double herald and try to end the game early and avoid the Vigar scaling because of that. Might be our best bet. Aatrox is looking for the all-in again. He has boots advantage over GP. This is going to be hard for GP to get away from. Seem to manage. Ooh, he just needs one Q. Oh, he got the orange. Down he goes. That orange is such a frustrating thing to play against. You think you're going to win the fight, and then all of a sudden, it pops back 300 or so health. Siobhan is bot side. I think I saw her with red buff. We could push into her top side here, or maybe snag a herald. Kali's looking for the all-in, but she got got. Ooh, all right. Not bad, not bad. She got the kill, at least. That makes herald here a lot safer for me, because I don't have to worry about Vigar coming down here. And pushing me off of it. Since Shivana was just bot side, she's likely to keep clearing or reset. She's not going to run bot straight over here. That would be random as heck. Very unlikely. Aatrox looks like he might be checking the area. Not the best smite on my part. I can definitely solo Aatrox. When you look at our items, I have red buff, blue buff. He doesn't have ignite. I have my R. Jeez, GP. That was really helpful. GP, this is warded. Please do something, GP. GP, do anything. <laughs> he did absolutely nothing. It was worried. Aatrox was going to dance around this wall pillar. Oh, well. It is what it is. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> this is the freest barrel of his life. Ah, oh, man, I don't trust this GP. I'm going to reset. What, what lane do we trust is the question. Got our Sunfire Aegis. We'll go ahead and grab Control Ward. Next item, I'm down for on hit going to Titanic. I think that would be fine. Going Warm Mock at this point would be okay because they don't have that much max health damage. I don't think Aatrox has any. Siobhan doesn't have any. Vigar doesn't have any. I don't think the Zaya has any. Renata might have a little bit, but I can't imagine much, so... Ormox would be a decent option from here. Our R is on cooldown, so we don't have to look for a gank. Best gank right now would be if we came up behind Aatrox since we have exhaust, we'd kill him. He seems to have a ward down that GP is not breaking, so we'll look for an invade here in a moment. Vigar has tier 2 boots. I don't even have tier 1s yet, but I'm about to get them here. 
less than five seconds. Yep, we're pretty fast now. 380. Just about as fast as the Vigar. We'll walk up on this guy. And with exhaust, I'll attack. E reset. Auto attack, E reset. Got a red smite on her. Got her. Ooh, look at that. Look at that right there. That triumph healing coming in clutch. The flame touch beating her down with the uh, lethal tempo. We'll go ahead, use our herald. This is first turret gold and a bunch of plates. Three plates plus first turret. We have 1500 gold. We're going to have like 2100 now. Woo, yeah, nearly 2100. That is spicy. And Akali got the same amount extra as well. Mundo is an interesting counter pick to Vigar since he can't cage you because you're E. They have to hit you with a hard CC to pull off your passive until they do. Uh, it's basically just a free Banshees. Oh, this is bad. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm just dead. I got greedy. I got so greedy, man. I paid for my greed. Kali follows it in. She does get the kill. But she dies for it. Not particularly worth. MF dodges R. Doesn't quite reach the Pikey Lance hook. That's actually a really good GPR. Just doesn't translate into anything. And that fight was spectacularly good for the enemies, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and build Titanic. I think that's the only way we're going to be able to carry this game. I'm going to go rush down Dragon as well. We have a ward right here that would probably see her. She jumps in. R's up. I think I can kill both of the bot lane if they stay. Looks like they're resetting, so we'll just go for Dragon. We'll go ahead and pull this out. Drag Souls, their win con. Draxel's kind of our win con as well. You want to fight me, Shivana? Little rat. Doesn't look like she does. Yeah, she. I don't think she would win that solo, to be honest. But who knows? I was already missing a lot of help from Dragon. She's doing the. Uh, the most meta Shivana build right now, Frostfire Rush with Pressy Attack, Ignite, Red Smite. Very, very meta, very strong when she hits that level six power spike. I'll attack E reset. I'm gonna push into her jungler and take her stuff again. Got a Punisher for her. Insolence. Whatcha? Kali's taking the camps. What is she doing? Yeah, that's kind of lame. Somebody warded this well. And I'm not going to stay for dive. I don't have R. If I stay bot, I'll lose my whole top side potentially. If Siobhan decides she doesn't want to fight it, Renata could just back off. I just stepped on a control ward. Yeah, that control ward's going to stay there all game. <laughs> top lane's still probably warded as well. The life of a jungler. <laughs> a lot of times, your teammates will leave wards. I could have stopped to break it. It's just, eh, I don't know. Not really worth it for me right now because I already know it's there. I could play around that accordingly. I think I can kill both these guys. My exhaust is up. I'll be able to stay on top of them with my lethal tempo. I don't even have to R for this. He doesn't have tier twos. We walk him down before we cleaver, ideally, because you saw him juke himself to death. If we would have cleavered, we would have missed it, which would have sucked. Plus, you have to stand still to cast cleaver. So it's a lose-lose if it misses and you throw it really early. And you can't even get in range to slow them with your red buff autos. Yeah, you're ticking me off, Shivana. That's not yours, it's mine! 
That's mine! <laughs> oh, wow. Vagar's not even behind, too. He didn't have his arc as a collie soaked it for me. Which is awesome. That's, that's freaking hilarious. We, he got lethal tempo down so hard there. Shivana loses her... Uh, she's going to lose some jungle for this. For these dirty, dirty shenanigans she's pulling on us. Kali... I don't know. I kind of just took her away, but it was in a weird spot. It was really far forward. And uh, it would be a weird spot for her to stay, I think. Shivana, what are you doing, my guy? What are you doing? Don't do that to yourself. Zaya, what do you think you're doing? It's like they know my R's down. She's bullying me. My gosh. So much damage. Yeah, this MF is not going to be able to carry this game, I can tell. <laughs> she, she, she positions very... She's positioning to... The thing is, she's positioning to use her press the attack. She took the wrong keystone. It's enticing her to do the wrong things. If she had Dark Harvest or Comet, she would be positioning so much better. She's trying to use that press the attack. It's just getting her killed. No, 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 no! Absolutely not. I'm gonna go grab my wolves and we'll do dragon. We're sitting on a stupid amount of CS. We have like 170, 16, 17 minute mark. Very, very high. Go Titanic into, I'd say more magic resist here. Maybe just force of nature, right? Force of nature is super strong. Could go Vistage. They, they most likely don't have much heal cut right now. They have some ignites, triple ignite. They don't have an actual heal cut item to where I think we could heal a lot, get more value out of Spirit Vistage in the early game. Late game though, they will have heal cut, which Spirit Vistage won't be helping us that much at that point. So yeah, we'll go Vistage for now. And we need to get these dragons. <coughs> Pull it out really far first. Pull it out far enough to where if they want it, they're going to have to die for it. You don't want to... Like, Vagar could have stolen it if we didn't pull it out type of thing. This is a really bad fight for us. Pike is... Almost gonna die. It's not really gonna get anything out of it either. Give me that plant. Woo! Look at those them autos. These these autos are hitting heavy. My E did like 600 damage total. That auto attack. I'm late over there. I need to stall it out a bit. Yeah, MF wants me to go in. I think it now's the time. You wanna die, Shivana? Whatcha? Close fight, not gonna lie. Shivana was a brave soul for trying to push off the Mundo. We ended up setting our Herald, I think, bot lane. No, it came mid. That's weird. Alright, I'll take it. Hey, Trox. That cle wow, that cleaver actually missed. The heck? I don't like this fight. Oh my goodness! Got her with the cleaver. Now we gotta get the heck out of here, dude. Keep smacking her with cleavers. We, we low-key got Zaya killed. I greeted out. I wanted that turret. One auto attack, I would have killed it. What are you doing, Pike? 
What are you doing? Run! Run, teammates, run! <laughs> Dawson, I know they can't kill me because I'm, I'm too tanky and I have passive trying to keep my teammates alive. I want that red buff. I'm not giving that GP to GPP with that ugly crit build. That's doo doo feces right there. You don't need that much crit on GP. <laughs> it, it's just, it's not worth it. You think he's going to build Rage Blade with all those agility cloaks? Uh, I could just play for Draxel at this point. It's an Earth one too. It's really good on Mundo. An extra 6% armor and magic resist. Got full Vistage. And now we could look to get heal cut ourselves. The uh, Aatrox self healing, the Zaya healing, the Renata. I couldn't remember her name. She's such a goofy champion. She looks like she doesn't belong in League, like a, she's an extra, she's an extra stand-in from a generic D&D &D game or something. She's just really generic looking. You would think she was, would have been one of the first League of Legends champs in the game, kind of like Malzahar, where you see Malzahar and he looks generic. That's how Renata looks. <laughs> she just looks like she could be a part of any, any game just about. Wow. Then some hard forced fights. Definitely don't need to be doing that. I doubt they'll try to bear in here. Dang, we didn't finish it. I think we get bot turret. I think GP gets away because he's got uh, Trinity Force and whatnot. This is bad. I don't want to lose almost all my health to finish that turret. Not worth. We got our health back really fast. 100 per second because we're on refill spirit vistage red buff. I think we're on ward. Hey, Vigar. Hey, Buster Brown. Got him. Close fight. Got red smited and exhausted. He's doing zero damage. <laughs> this build is so cheesy, easy. So gosh darn gimpy. Point and click. Not a whole lot of counterplay, especially if you have a lead on it. Ooh, we landed a cleaver. We need to pick that up. Get our passive back. I think that's GG's, boys. I think that's it. Hit her with the cleaver, it's not enough. She's pretty tanky on that fountain. Auto attack, E reset, and that is a plus 50. Let's take a look at the damage graphs. I have a feeling we had the most damage dealt. Looking at damage all enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. That's very pleasing. It's hard to do that on jungle, especially if you're not like Karthus or Teemo, because you don't, you're not getting to sit there and poke champions in, during lane phase. All this damage is kill damage nearly the entirety of it Just all in fights or ganks damage taken we took the most 90 29k versus 27 for self mitigated i barely took more damage total than siobhan if you count self mitigated like barely only one or two thousand more it's like one thousand more i took than her if you count her self mitigated difference that's in, that's in crazy that she almost tanked as much as i did because that just goes to show how good that shivana build is plus she died a lot Lethal Tempo, we had it maxed out for nearly a full minute, maxed it out four different times. It would have been more useful if the game lasted longer or if they had a true tank on their team, like an Orn or a Ramus who let us dig into them super, super hard. Uh, huge value out of Triumph, 1,300 health, nearly 300 free gold. That's a, such a good freaking rune. Tenacity finished at 10 minute mark, last stand 600 damage. Magical Footwear finished at 10 minute 30, yeah, it's decent. And approach velocity sped us up for over a minute. I believe it's like 15% move speed bonus. Very nice. I really do like this build on Mundo. Whenever I play him, I find I get the most consistent results and self-carry potential with the exhaust and this type of build. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.